Hey watch nerds, James Stacy for blogtoread.com here and today we'll be taking a look at the new uh, Seiko Monster replacement. So this is the Seiko SRP313K1. Uh, so if many of you are dive watch fans, as I assume you are, uh, many of you will know basically this form and structure from the SKX uh, 779 and 781 uh, models, which are the black and the orange monster. Uh, famous watches among you know the types of guys who don't want to necessarily spend thousands of dollars on a watch. Um, this is kind of the uh, an example of a great entry level dive watch, or or more more importantly, the new iteration of a great entry level dive watch. Uh, so this new model retains the 43 millimeter case. It's 13 millimeters tall, 47.5 millimeters from lug to lug. So if you've got a smaller wrist, this one still does pretty well. And uh, on the Seiko rubber strap, you're looking at a total weight of about 113 grams. So not too bad in any way at all. Uh, the big update to this model, uh, which is what we'll get to first, is the addition of a new movement. So the 779 and 781 SKX models, they relied on the 7S26 movement, which is a fine workhorse movement, very cheap, but very reliable and goes a long time without service. Not the most accurate, and it didn't feature hacking or hand winding. So... If you wanted to try and stop the movement to set it directly with a point in time, you kind of had to apply a bit of back pressure on the crown, and it got kind of nerdy from there. This new model, which is part of the SRP family, there's five versions, which you can see in our review on a blog to read.com, um, features the new 4R36 movement, which does have hacking and hand winding, and in my opinion, or at least um, from this model, is more accurate than the watches I've had with 7S26 movements. I'm seeing roughly plus five seconds a day, averaged out over a week, which is pretty good for a, for a movement in a watch of this price point. Additionally, you get a uh, the same day-date display that you would have gotten on the 7S36 and 7S26 uh, versions. And uh, it actually has kind of an interesting date window, which I'll show you now, where if, uh, if you were to back it off here, you'll actually see... Um, Instead of, say, the I had an English-French version on my SKX, uh, it's now a uh, Roman numeral. The crystal on the new SRP series is a Hardlex, much like it is on many Seikos in this price point. Uh, for those of you who are thinking, of oh, it's an updated version, it should come with an updated Sapphire uh, crystal. i got to argue with you on that one. I have had a... Uh, SKX 007 for about five years. It's been my weekend watch. It's a beater. Um, doesn't keep great time. Could use a service, which again is kind of a hallmark of the uh, 7S26 movement. It's not the most accurate. You do have to keep it serviced, um, which is kind of the same with a lot of movements over time. Um, but this Hardlex crystal has stood up to a lot of abuse, and uh, with the exception of not having an AR coating, which would be nice, I, I don't see how this is uh, any huge change over having a sapphire. Uh, crystal. Additionally on the SRP you have uh, drilled lugs and uh, this model comes with a rubber strap which is the same as every rubber strap I've ever gotten with a Seiko. Um, if you do decide to get one of these consider one of the two or three versions that come with a metal bracelet as the bracelet is excellent. The bracelet on the SKX 779 781 excellent fantastic bracelet for this price point. I really wanted the 313 because I like the red hands and markers and uh, and I think that gives you a good look at what the uh, the new dial design is. Alright so with a nice clear look at the dial here you'll see the major change over the uh, 779, 781 versions from the SKX line is that you've now they've removed the minute scaling that was done on the inside of the markers and they've also changed the marker shape to be more of a tooth style. I think it works really well um, and I really like it. There's obviously some dissenters online but overall, I think it's a great update, and you get the new movement, and it's not that much more money than the old version, uh, which is especially great. Now, the big concern with these is obviously with, with people who love the old monster, the new one needed to have excellent loom, and uh, we'll show you that to you now. The, uh, the luminosity is really good on these. Um, I don't still have uh, my SKX 779, but this easily stands up to my... 007 and to my memory of the 779. It's very bright. It's not exactly the same color um, But it is very bright and uh, it lasts for a very long time. I easily uh, Charged it before going into a movie the other night and it lasted uh, the extent of uh, about a two-hour film and uh, and then was still Plenty usable throughout the evening. So it's typical Seiko uh, Luma Brita application there nice and bright 
and certainly worthy of the uh, you know the the monster update that they've done here. Okay, and here's the all important wrist shot. So as you can see here, the SRP three one three um, or just any of the monsters in the new SRP range fits my seven and a half inch wrist pretty nicely. It's not too long. You don't extend over the sides. I do think the strap is a bit too long, but then again, it's designed for diving. So I would wear this on a NATO for my uses. It makes a nice uh, weekend watch or a good actual dive watch, uh, at, at which case uh, it's best to keep the strap around. Um, I really like the watch. Uh, it's about a $90 increase over the current list price for an SKX monster. So you're looking about $290, but you do get a movement with hacking and hand winding that I believe to be a bit more accurate than the 7S26 versions. And uh, on top of that, you can choose from a few new styles, and like the 313, or rather like the red accents. I think it honestly still holds up to the Monster Legacy. This is huge value uh, for a, a simple and reliable dive watch that doesn't look like much else on the market, and uh, should be a reliable and uh, wearable watch for many years. For a blog to read, my name is James Stacey, and this has been our review of the SRP313K1. Thanks so much.